as much as this is out of my control, I do want to apologize to you guys. I, I feel like I keep letting you guys down. The giveaway is canceled. And I received a letter from the USDA in several different forms. Uh, one to my home address, one to my business address, one to my email. I'm surprised they didn't hand deliver it to me in person. Uh, but they are telling me I am not allowed to give away the meat. So uh, we're going to read this letter from the USDA. I mean, uh, uh, the United States Dickhead Association. No, I'm sorry. Um, United States Department of Agriculture. And yeah, I mean, Frank, what's with the childish jokes? Well, you know, as much as I would like to be professional and mature and respectful, you know, showing up to someone's business, rating them, like they're Pablo Escobar with half the NYPD when they're selling meat. <laughs> come on, come on. There's no, there's no civility to this whatsoever. Letter of information. Mr. Tufano, we have information showing that you, doing business as Frankie's Syringe Meat, have stated your intent to further distribute previously detained meat and meat food products. I am writing to inform you that this intended distribution is contrary to law and the previously agreed product disposition. As you know, on July 7, 2022, investigators with the Food Safety and Inspection Service, FSIS, detained pursuant to the Federal Meat Inspection Act, FMIA, approximately 1,965 pounds of meat and meat food products at your Bronx, New York facility. The detained articles included approximately 1,512 pounds of non-federally inspected and misbranded meat and meat food products that had been slaughtered and prepared at your direction by two different livestock slaughter and processing facilities. The facilities, which do not operate under federal inspection, slaughtered the livestock and prepared the resulting meat products for you under the FMIA's custom exemption provisions. As FSIS investigators explain to you, as the rightful and only owner of these custom prepared meat and meat food products, you are entitled to keep them for your own personal consumption. Accordingly, on or about July 25th, 2022, FSIS accepted personal use as your voluntary disposition for these products and released the products to you under that condition. As explained to you that day and in related emails, personal use means that these products are released consistent for use by you as the product's owner or for use by your household and household members, non-paying guests, and employees. The products, because they were not prepared under federal inspection, may not be sold, donated, or otherwise distributed under any circumstances in a manner contrary to the Federal Meat Inspection Act. The New York State Department of Agriculture and Markets advised my office that you made a YouTube posting referencing the above previously detained custom prepared products. In related YouTube videos, you state your intent to distribute these products by giving them away to individuals outside of your household. As explained above, this stated distribution is contrary to the Federal Meat Inspection Act and to the personal use disposition you agree to with FSIS for these products. Please be advised that any use or distribution of these previously detained custom prepared products contrary to the Federal Meat Inspection Act or the agreed voluntary disposition plan as stated above may result in additional enforcement or legal action. We urge your voluntary compliance. Sincerely, Regional Director, Compliance and Investigations Division. <laughs> what is the, <laughs> the New York State Department of Ag and Markets? Like a bunch of narcs, like uh, s uh, snitching on me, a bunch of rats. This is, this, is this is so ridiculous. So basically, I have 2,000 pounds of meat that I can feed to pigs or chickens. Uh, so it's going to sit in my uh, freezer until I get a farm or something. Uh, I'm not allowed to donate it. Clearly not allowed to give it away. It's too much meat to give to my employees. So I, I don't know. You know. I'm a little bit disgusted and upset. You know, The least they could have done after causing me a you know, $25,000 business loss was at least allow me to give it away to people. Come on. You know, what, what, kind, what kind of evil, miserable people don't even let you give the meat away? Um, they're basically saying the meat. They might as well have sent down the marshals and stuff and destroyed the meat. The only reason I didn't want to do that was because... Um, there's no scheduled visit. They just like knock down your door and take everything. I didn't want that happening. But, um, you know, on one hand, um, it, it's a learning experience. I'm not super duper upset about it because uh, the, the guy that I had make the sausages did mess up the recipes a bit. He thought that he had to add salt, but there was already salt in the custom spice blends I sent him. So, some of the products were a little too salty. Some of them were a little overcooked. Obviously, the sausages and everything, they were still good. I, I've still been eating them a lot myself, but they didn't turn out 
um, as good as they were supposed to be. And I don't think they're, uh, they were a good product uh, to the example of, of the quality and taste of things we want to offer on Frankie's Sea Range Meat. So uh, I'm going to cut that as a loss. Hopefully the USDA changes their mind, allows me to give it away. Worst case scenario, we're going to be feeding it to pigs or chickens sometime in the future. Some very expensive, those are going to be some happy farm animals. Uh, moving forward, uh, we should be able to do this again, except you guys are going to have to email me uh, like just something of a receipt to purchase the live animal before slaughter. I will do a video on Friday explaining that process. Uh, you guys won't have to pay up front. It's going to be really simple, and we should be able to get you guys the hot dogs and the sausages within two or three weeks this time uh, without the $25,000 mistake. Uh, again, I want to apologize. Uh, the giveaway is canceled. I will not be at Madison Square Park this Sunday, guys, giving the meat away. Uh, I did want to do a normal meetup, but I think it's going to be really hot that day, and it might rain. Um, and I, I'd rather give people time to um, prepare if they really want to meet me. So if we decide to do a meetup, uh, maybe it'll be sometime in the fall. Uh, hopefully I'll be feeling better. You know, right now, guys, with everything I'm going through with the business, um, you know, with my family yelling at me every day and just getting threats from every single person imaginable. Uh, I'm not really in a comfortable mental or physical state. Even, even before all this stuff happened over the past few weeks, um, two months now, I wasn't, happy. I wasn't happy with how things were going in general with the business and the lawsuits. And now uh, it, it's just been getting worse and worse. So I'm not really, uh, I don't think it's going to be reasonable for me to pretend to be happy and meet my uh, guests and viewers that have been supporting me. But uh, I would really love to come down and meet you guys and see you guys, but I don't think... Um, I don't think meeting at like the park on a Sunday w with that many people, um, you know, it needs to be in like a conference room. I need to have like a microphone. I need to have, you know, you guys need to be comfortable, be able to sit down and have some sense of organization, not just a mob of, pe of people meeting up. So again, guys, I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, I would like to give the meat away, but I am not allowed. Uh, I will literally, I can literally get arrested. Um, so uh, unless I decide to identify as female and go to female prison, I, I do not anticipate having fun in jail. So this is not like, this is not like, oh, you're just going to get fined or this or that. This is not like, oh, Frank, uh, just give the meat to your friends and then they can distribute it. Oh, Frank, just leave the meat somewhere and have people take it. Look, th this is, guys, you can't like do silly stuff and expect them not to say, okay, we know what you're really doing. It's, I'm not risking getting arrested or, or a criminal offense uh, for this meat. That's ba they're very clear that if I don't listen, I mean, in that conversation we had last week in that video, it wasn't 100% clear, but now they've made it very clear that they do not want me distributing this meat, giving away or donating it in any capacity whatsoever. Um, so that'll be it, guys. I'm going to try to do videos every day this week on related topics. Um, so I'll see you guys soon.